um, currently there is uh, a negotiation happening outside of the World Trade Organization framework of the Trading Services Agreement. This is a negotiation that is being done by the European Union with other uh, 27 countries called the Friends of the Services Countries, which include countries with such a democratic reputation like in Pakistan or countries which just recently have a coup d'etat. Uh, like in Paraguay, and uh, they are trying to get an agreement to put all sorts of services up for liberalization. For the European Federation of Public Services, this is extremely worrying. First, because there is no secrecy. We don't have any uh, real knowledge of the mandates and the offers that different stakeholders are doing. They are negotiating behind closed doors, literally. They are negotiating in Geneva, but outside of the normal framework of, of negotiation. And it shows a bit uh, the um, will by especially certain lobbies in the services industry to actually get hold of uh, what we understand by public uh, services, such, a, such as education, health, uh, and so on. And uh, we really oppose, and it's not just as EPS, we as EPSO, we oppose uh, such liberalization. Citizens in Europe have been demonstrating, they've been signing peti petitions, they signed two mi more than two million citizens in uh, citizens signed the European Citizens Initiative for the right to water that clearly demanded the stop the liberalization of water and sanitation. And again, we see in the mandate, in the leaked documents that we saw in WikiLeaks, that sanitation comes again uh, in the trading agenda. And we really are worried about that. Well, there's clearly a will to actually uh, negotiate um, between different states, in this particular case, the EU and the United, United States, to open up uh, what they see as markets. We do not believe that natural monopolies, again, such as water, but uh, core sections of our economies and our societies, like the health system, the education system, should be up for sale. We do not believe that there should be economic criteria that manage the way that our hospitals or our clinics should be run. And in that sense, if uh, we take the logic of uh, well, the common good, the profit for the community, what other logic is going to come in place is the logic of making profits. And if private companies start running health on education systems, we're going to see that they're going to basically invest in what is going to give more return. So they're going to close uh, universities, uh, schools or hospitals that will be perceived as less profitable. We do not believe and we do not want a society that has these criteria in the way that treats ill people or children. So we are really fundamentally against the trading off uh, in public services and it will be a great problem for public sector workers, uh, not just citizens. And we've seen it in the last 20, 25 years uh, of experience. We have hundreds of reports that show that privatized industries yeah, in the long run are worse off for, for the people working in such, uh, in such workplaces. Mm -hmm.